Hi guys, my name is Keith. This is my beautiful wife, Winetta. This is our old golf cart. Um, it sits outside a lot, as you can see. But it just shows you how good our speakers and uh, our consoles are because they sit outside with it. But on today's video, I wanna show you guys, I wanna focus on these speaker pods that we make. I can put a link down below. You can go to Thunder Buckets and uh, order yourself a pair to go with your system. Or if you don't want to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to take these and turn them into those speaker pods that are all done. Basically, these are just sewer caps. You can get these at your local hardware store, uh, online. You can buy them, have them shipped to your door. They take quite a bit of work to turn them into those, but... At the end, you will have yourself a awesome set of pods. These things are thick. They're quarter inch thick, by the way. They're not gonna break. They just make absolute perfect speaker pods for six and a half inch speakers. So stick with us and I'm gonna show you step-by-step step on how to make those pods. And hopefully we can get some more videos to you guys on everything else we got. And we'll do different golf carts. We'll do different setups. We'll show you, I'm gonna make different videos of each of our console models we do but like i said today's video is going to be about making your own speaker pods you can put your own speakers in them you can put them on your own golf cart utv whatever you want to do so stay with us okay so we're back here at the shop and uh as you can see i want to go ahead and have you guys follow along as I do three sets of pods. We'll go ahead and get these three done and, and get them ready to put together and get them ready to ship out. But the first thing I want to do is I got to go cut a ring. I'll show you that out of PVC pipe. Uh, I'll show you the pipe. And we're going to cut it. We're going to glue that ring in, inside here. And that's going to be for to hold the speaker screws. It's going to hold the screws in because there's nowhere for the speaker screws to go inside this pod. So that's the first thing we're going to do. Okay, this is six inch PVC pipe. You can buy it in a couple different lengths. You can get it in uh, five foot sections and you can get it in 10 foot sections. You may be able to get it in um, different lengths. I'm not sure on that. I just know that that's where you get it at. Uh, this we're gonna take it, we're gonna cut one inch rings and those one inch rings are gonna get glued inside these, the caps that we showed you earlier. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start cutting these caps. Okay. So let me just take a minute right here and say, uh, if you've never used a saw, or if you're not very good with a saw, or, or just anything, just remember it's super dangerous. And so if you haven't, maybe you could get somebody that has and cut your rings for you, or, or maybe just forget it and uh, just buy your pods from us. So with that out of the way, uh, I went ahead and cut my rings. I got six rings here for six pods. Oops. And. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna glue these rings into the pods and we're gonna use PVC cement and you have to use primer as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and get those glued in and get right back with you. Okay, so we got the rings glued in and as you can see, I wanna point something out here. Normally we, we glue the rings in where they're nice and tight so once we glue them in, they can they can dry and they're going to be in there forever. Sometimes we cut them a little short and we have to use clamps, but that's okay. Once it's glued, I mean, that thing's in there forever, but I just wanted to show you, you can use clamps to clamp them in. Uh, just clamp it into that side wall there and, and once it's glued, once it's dry, uh, you're good to go. So now the next thing we'll want to do is uh, on these pods uh, that you buy, they have a lot of uh, rough stuff on them. There's a big line around the edge and a lot of stuff on the back. And this is where the fun part begins because uh, we're going to take 80 grit and we're going to sand all that stuff off of there. We're going to sand the whole size. The whole pod gets sand and basically reshaped back here. So now we're going to go ahead and, and take our DA and 80 grit. We're going to sand them and I'll be right back with you. Okay, so I'm all done. It took a little bit to sand those. I'm gonna be honest with you, that's pretty messy. And it takes a while to sand all that stuff off. 
And as in the video, you may have seen that uh, there was some black stuff on the on the pods. Well, that black stuff is called guide coat. Uh, you don't have to do that. We just do that to make sure we get everything sanded, pretty, and nice uh, for our customers. But if you don't mind a little a little duber dabber here or there, uh, you don't need to do use the guide coat. Just sand them uh, as needed. But uh, okay, so the next step is um, we're gonna go ahead and drill the holes for the uh, binding post and for the clamps. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna drill drill the holes we need and then I'll come back and, and see you in just a bit. Okay, we just got done drilling these pods. Uh, we got the pilot holes drilled for the speaker screws. We have the holes for the binding post and a single hole for our clamps. These are our clamps, they're specially made for us. They go on there, they bolt through with a single bolt, they can't turn, and binding post we use. You don't even have to use a binding post. You can just drill a single hole and run your speaker wire through it, hook it up and seal it off with some glue or something and that'd be that. But uh, that's that, we, we just use a standard drill, um, different sizes bits and uh, it's all gonna be to whatever you're doing with the pot. So the next step for us is we're gonna clean these up, blow them off and get them painted, and then we're gonna texture them. We use a, uh, a truck bed coating, it's real durable, tough stuff. Like I say, these pods, they're gonna last for years and years, if not forever. Hold on. Okay, we got them all painted and got them textured, so they're all done. Let me let me show you how they look up close. Hopefully you can see that. Really nice. Nothing left, but just uh, just a nice finish. Uh, so the next thing we got to do is we're gonna go ahead and, and we're gonna put in our uh, everything, our, our binding post, the wires, the polyfill, clamp, everything. And uh, we're gonna get them all ready, all ready to go ship out to the customer. But before we ship them to the customer, I'm gonna take a pair and, and I'm gonna actually put them on our old golf cart out there just to show you guys how easy our clamp system works. It's just a, a, a two bolts clamp, clamp it on. Uh, they're solid, they're, they're not gonna go anywhere. By the way, uh, those speakers that you see on on beginning of the video, those speakers and that stereo console has been on there for years. So I mean, and, and that's just, I mean, this stuff is solid. So uh, hang tight, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and get these assembled and I'll be right back. Okay, so we got these all done, put together. There's just a couple things I wanted to show you before we uh, put them on a golf cart. But um, we sell these both ways, uh, empty, ready to go for your speaker. You just take your specified speaker you want and plug it in and put it on there, screw it down and, and you're good to go. I just wanted to show you the poly feel that's in there and, and it's just, it's all ready to go if you buy from us. And here is a, uh, a complete set that's done. These are the same way, only they're loaded with the kicker speakers that we sell. And that's how a customer is going to receive it, just like that. And um, I was just wanting to show you that before we went outside and put them on a golf cart. But actually, uh, real quick, it is, it is raining like crazy out there. So what I'm going to do is I got to get these boxed up and shipped out to the customers today. But I'm going to make a video tomorrow of me taking the speakers off my cart and putting them back on. Just to show you how easy the clamp system is. And uh, I'll get back with you in just a bit. Okay, we're back. 7 16 Allen wrench is all you need to put these on. Just get your one bolt started. Another bolt started. Twist them in by hand. We're just going to snug these up to where we can walk away and make sure we got them at the same height. And then once you do got them at the same height, you go ahead and tighten them down. You just want to snug them up because these clamps, they will hold excellent. And then after you get that done, we just have straight bare wires. 
We don't have any banana jacks for this, but you can use them on these. Positive, negative to negative, positive to positive. And that's it. Snug goes down and you're ready to good. You're good for sound. So this is all we have. The speakers are all done. I'm showing you how to put them on the cart. So um, we're gonna do more videos, like I said. We're gonna go ahead and do videos on our consoles. Hopefully do several for you guys. Um, please push the uh, subscribe and the like button. And um, hopefully you can follow us on everything we do and bring our products to you guys. So thank you and have a good one.